Yo. What up? All right. Um, so, uh, we got part two to Dave Chappelle, The Dreamer. Ah, okay. Part two. Yes. Let's go, man. I'm ready. All right. <laughs> you know, you know, I have a great reputation in show business, but, but in comedy, I'm, I'm what's known as a, as a lazy comedian, which is crazy because I work all the time, but that's not why they call me lazy. They call me lazy because I do shows sometimes, 20,000 people be in the crowd, and, and I'll tell a joke, and, and they'll all look at me like I'm crazy, but three or four people will laugh really hard, and I'll be on stage like, yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> Well, this next joke is one of those jokes that, <laughs> it's not, you know what I mean? I like to tell it, but it never does good. <laughs> but I'm gonna do it. And you know what I gotta do good? I'm not good at impressions, but this is an impression. You ready? Okay. <laughs> this is not gonna work. <laughs> All right, this is my impression. This is my impression <laughs> of the dead people on the Titanic. <laughs> you let me finish. This is my impression of the dead people on the Titanic as the submersible was approaching their ship. <laughs> oh shit. That's good enough. Alright, here it goes. <laughs> <laughs>
right before that tour started, uh, Chris was involved in what we blacks might even consider a, a, a goddamn 9-11. <laughs> Chris got slapped in the face at the Oscars <laughs> by Will Smith, which was one of the craziest things I'd ever seen. In fact, if you watch it live on television like I did, when it happened, I thought it was fake. <laughs> I did. And, and I wasn't sure. So, you know what I did? I waited. Because I'm like, you, I know Chris. I waited like 30, 40 minutes. As long as it take him to get to another party. <laughs> and I called him on FaceTime. And he picked up. As soon as he picked up, he said, he was the only nigga I'd ask the phone for. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Obama and Oprah, everybody called this nigga. See, everything's all right. <laughs> and I thought it was fake. I, wasn't, I, I didn't know. So I, I asked when I go, I go, well, you know. He said, what? I said, who did it hurt? <laughs> and he said, yes, nigga, it hurt. <laughs> Then I knew that it was real. Uh, and then, and only then, was I offended. <laughs> and I wasn't just offended that he got slapped. That was only half of it. Uh, the real offensive part was that after he slapped him, this thing Will just, just sat down and enjoyed the rest of his evening. It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> and then all year, we was yeah. touring and I, I couldn't wait to see what, what he was going to say in the special about, about this slap. And I told him all year, but the night he taped the special, Chris was one of these guys that's crafty. You never know what he's going to say until he really says it. So I went to see him take the special. He taped it right up the street in Baltimore. Now, you guys are from D.C., so you know, you know about Baltimore. <laughs> We all know that through the years, D.C. has been through some very, very tough times. Sadly, Baltimore is still in a very tough time. <laughs> <laughs> Not everybody in the world really can understand the depth of Baltimore. Baltimore is so desperate that <laughs> Tupac and his mother moved from Baltimore to Oakland for a better life. <laughs> And Chris Rock went so hard in the paint, and I can't believe he did this. He shocked a Baltimore crowd. I didn't even know that was possible. I started doing comedy right now. Shocked them. And you know what he said that got him? He looked at the crowd. He walked, I, I didn't expect him to say this. He, he looked at the crowd. It's all black, Baltimore black. <laughs> even if you're rich and black in Baltimore, you know them niggas is traumatized about something. <laughs> And Chris shot him, and, and this is what he said. He went to that crowd, that crowd. He said, I refuse to be a victim. And I said, oh. And I was backstage and I'm like, nigga, watch the tape. <laughs> uh, uh. Say the truth. You know, everything, everything's funny. Everything's funny until it happens to you. <laughs> three months, a mere three months after that terrible attack that Chris Rock endured, I was on stage at the Hollywood Bowl. And the lunatic jumped out of the crowd and attacked me. Now I gotta tell you. If it happens to you, you don't even know what the fuck is happening. It was like so much, and I just looked over. I don't know this nigga, and I was looking and said, oh my god, I'm being attacked. And this motherfucker was ragged. He jumped at me, he was like, ah. <laughs> I'm old, but I'm fast. I, I caught this motherfucker's head with my hand and pulled his hoodie over his eyes. I can still feel his head in my hand. It was spongy. He had the wrong dreadlocks. <laughs> Not the beautiful dreads that rest of fairies grow. These were accidental LA homeless dreads. <laughs> this shit had leaves and sticks and bottle caps and shit in it. Some kind of grief. I was like, ugh, like this. And then I fell down. And he knocked me all the way on the ground. And, and I was like, man, this is a bad situation. I'm like, I don't know, I'm gonna die. What's gonna happen? But in that moment, 
the vulnerability. You know what occurred to me that had never occurred to me before in my life? In that moment, it occurred to me that bodyguards should not wear dress shoes to work. Travis. <laughs> this nigga Travis came out slipping and sliding on some kind of beautiful loafer. <laughs> Now both of us are down. <laughs> and I handle this shit myself. So I pop that back, boom. And then the kid that knocked me down, he popped up, boom. And we look at each other and realize, at the same time, I was bigger than him. <laughs> that motherfucker took off running. And I started to chase him, and I said, ah, fuck him. I picked the microphone up. I said, the show now. Right. For three months before that, I'd been making fun of Chris Rock. And people would ask me all the time. They'd say, Dave, what would you do if you were Chris Rock and Will Smith slapped you in the face? And to this day, the answer is the same. Well, I don't know what I would have done. I've never been in a situation that extreme. But I do know now what Will Smith would not have done. And that is, enjoy the rest of his evening. <laughs> Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, we gave that kid a good while. He was whooping his ass. Not me. I mean, I was on stage trying to think of a joke to tell, but they was beating this nigga up right behind me. Everybody could see it. Everybody could see it. And I'm sitting up there trying to think of what to say. Um, 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 and I'm, and I'm tongue tied. Me, of all people, can't think of anything to say. Look at my car. Just that moment. Of all the people in the world, Chris Rock walks from backstage. Walks up to me in front of 20,000 people, grabs the mic out of my hands, and looks at the crowd and goes, Was that Will Smith? <laughs> <laughs> Man, motherfuckers fell out of their chairs. <laughs> I was standing there looking stupid. I was fucking furious, because I'm thinking in my mind, Nigga, this is my attack. <laughs> Three months ago. <laughs> now you have jokes. Ah, <laughs> oh, that shit was hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, man, that special just keeps getting better and better. Yeah. Yeah, man. Better. <laughs> All right, so you talked about Will Smith and uh, Chris Rock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the, the infamous slap heard around the world. Yeah, man. Most people probably would have. Um, usually, the aggressor or the attacker wouldn't, you know enjoy the rest of their evening, you know, normally, right? Yeah. I think we talked about that, that, you know, you just would, something like that shouldn't happen, you just go on about your business, you know what I mean? Yeah, probably in a different setting that that wouldn't have happened. Yeah, yeah. Or you wouldn't have been able to just sit there, Will Smith, you know, you know if there was like at a club or something, and a nigga slapped Chris Rock, it would have been a problem. <laughs> Up there at the Oscars, you know, exactly. it's on live TV, so nobody want to, you know, it's probably a good thing that it. those happen. Like I said, people thought it was fake. I remember a lot of people thought it was fake, too. Yeah, at first, like, you know, when I saw, I didn't see it live, but, like, when I saw, like, clips and stuff, I was like, oh, these, these niggas are putting on the show. <laughs> it has to be. Like, to see something like that. Yeah. Oh, man, that was hilarious. This nigga said he, uh, he called him. <laughs> or he FaceTimed him, like, 30 minutes after the show. The only nigga I pick up the phone for right now. <laughs> <laughs> Did it hurt? <laughs> like, yeah, hell yeah, it hurt. <laughs> Damn. He said, right then, I knew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <I> took offense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If it hurt, yeah. I guess uh, it hurt. Oh, man. Yeah. Snicker Dave, man. Yeah, man. Mastermind, man. Yes. Yes, he is.